Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is of a sketch I did of Messier objects M81 and M82, also known as the Bodes Nebula and the Cigar Galaxy. This was done on the night of February 22nd, 2020 from 8.29 to 8.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I spent a good 20 or so minutes just observing this pairing of galaxies before I started drawing it. I like to take a little bit of time before a sketch to really observe and take in the view of what I'm about to sketch. During that time, I typically look for any faint details that I might miss when I have my red light on, such as wisps of nebula, very faint galaxies hidden in the background, or just very dim, hard-to-see stars hiding in the field of view. In this sketch, I didn't have any moon to deal with, as it was a 1% waning crescent moon, so any light interfering with my observations came from nearby streetlights and other light pollution, such as the light dome created by the nearby city of Plattsburgh. Now let's have a quick look at the object's location in the sky. These two galaxies can be found in the constellation of Ursa Major, or better known to most as the Big Dipper, which is an asterism. They are not found within the asterism itself, but more on the outside of it. One way to find it is to sort of follow a line off the tail of the constellation of Draco, into the border of Ursa Major. M81, which is the Bode's galaxy, is the more disc-shaped object which on a good clear dark night you can start to make out the wisps of galaxy arms. M81 is approximately 12 million light years away and 90,000 light years in diameter. M82, also known as the Cigar Galaxy, is a long thinner looking galaxy which is also approximately 12 million light years away and is about five times more luminous than all of the Milky Way galaxy. M82 is a starburst galaxy, which the activity is due to its interaction with the nearby galaxy M81. Now that we've covered the final sketch and the location, let's get on with the sketch time lapse. As I said at the top of this video, I observed this for a while before I hit record and started to sketch. I wanted to get a good view in my mind of this object before I started putting it to paper and before I had my red light on so I could see what I was doing. The hardest part of doing a sketch is getting the brightness of dim objects accurately portrayed on paper. The red light makes it hard to see the detail of anything faint and fuzzy, so the final sketch typically comes out a little more exaggerated than it would have been because I'm sketching them darker than they should be. So after placing some of the brighter stars, I get into marking off where the galaxies are located within the field of view. I try my best to keep them faint, but as I said, the red light makes it hard to see the faint objects on the paper, so I typically make them darker than originally intended. I did make a few minor mistakes at the eyepiece and corrected them when I got inside under normal lighting before taking the picture and inverting the image in GIMP. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please take a second to hit that like button and click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. Also, drop in the comment section below what you think of this video as I'm always open for suggestions and ideas, so please feel free to let me know of them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.